All right, we're gonna get ready to start now in a few minutes, guys. It's not too bad. Okay. Make sure everything's all set up here. Just a sec, we'll be up in just a sec. Okay, there we go. Let's get everybody's names going here. Okay, Sith. Let's see who else we got today. Pop. There we go. Who could be in here? Oh, JDD can figure that. That guy. Who else do I want to rename? Bubba's can be, um. Yay. Am I getting an echo? I might be getting an echo. One second. There we go. Fixed. Forgot to mute my restream. Yeah, it's much better now. I should do it for now. All right. Looks like we're about ready to start here in just a sec. Going good. Okay. And go. What do we get today? I wonder. Artemis bow. Okay. Well, that's not something we need right off the bat, but it sure does help. Especially if we're talking um, physical enemies, especially, yeah. You know. Bows and arrows are Rydia's only other weapon that could do a significant amount of offense. We shall see, though. Starfax, no help there. Thousand gold. Power and an edge of shield, and another item is spell. See, it is telling me to use physical weapons now. And look at that, we got some Medusa arrows. Yes, please, you need to move. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Yeah, let's go. Hyper Shock. 
Yeah, I totally forgot. We'll keep that. If you have anything we want, ethers. And some cure twos, yes. We will get those cure twos and ethers. And we might as well get some pets. Okay! Now let's go do some looting. Yay! Dive into the water, and then out to the, the grass, and then after that, we have all kinds of really good stuff happening. Where will we find some good treasures here, I wonder? Will we find the Trogdor today? Yes, we, in fact, we did. There he is. Yeah. So there's our Trogdor. The Burninator himself. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Pepper Castle sounds like a fun. Yeah, we got the Rydia theme. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Charm Staff. Nice. And a Change Rod. And Dead Controller. Not sure why that happened. There we go. All right, bring it on. The quest for the Red Vidia shall continue. Or the Orange Vidia, Orangish Red Vidia. So what do we got here today? Oh, we get the Cockatrice. Can be useful in certain situations, but not always. It's funny how it just turns that stone straight to ice. I mean, ice straight to stone. You know? Oh, 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 oh look at all that good stuff. That is good stuff, what we got today. Adamant armor and sorcerer. Silver ring. And of course, we're gonna give you Charm Rod. And let's see, let's give you the. Actually, I'm thinking about actually giving you this. I'll do more physical damage. Save. Save. There we go. It looks like we got a purple Rydia. Or it could be a pink one, I can't tell. Oh, these guys shouldn't be too tough, should they? We'll find out. <laughs> the Dark Amps. That was very rude of you to do that, sir. You know what? Let's use that. Let's face it, whenever else am I going to ever use that item? Ten levels, look at that. That's exactly what we want. Although it would be nice if we had the other Rydia alive. And we get a third Rydia. Awesome. So what are we going to do now? We're going to head down the mountain. And then after this, we're going to go to Fabul. And then after Fabul, probably Antlion. Let's 
go ahead and save here real quick. And you get a free heal here in Fable, so it's really nice. Don't have to worry about reviving that Rydia at this point. But look at those beautiful rune rings. We definitely want those, so let's go ahead and sell some stuff that we don't need. And of course, we have got the Kraken! Release the Kraken! Yeah! The Kraken has been released. So, let's get some more Rune Rings. Because believe me, these are very, very nice. Plus three. And with plus three to wisdom, that gives us a significant advantage. Maybe I shouldn't have sold that power shirt, but oh well. <laughs> I just be like, I'll just play with it. Do we have anything else that we can get? Well, we can get two more of these. We're gonna save those for our other two Rydias. Let's move this up here. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do, we're going to put this Rydia in the middle. Because she is the lowest level. And therefore, we'll make a good early on agility anchor. And I bought some Cure Ones just in case we need to use them. Probably will not. So. We're going to head up. I'm pretty confident we can take this boss on. Okay. Hey, Choi. How you doing? My cat likes to say hi to everybody in the stream. Oh, it's you. Do we have anything that we can do use to kill you? Actually, we do. It's called a Bahamut. <laughs> and if that one Bahamut doesn't work, you have two of them. I think that's Terra Rydia. The one in the middle there? That's a new sprite. Yeah, I believe that is Terra Rydia. <laughs> that actually looks really good. Because I had only seen her as a grown-up Rydia, not as a young Rydia. But now that it, now that you mention it, it definitely looks like a Terra Rydia. You can tell a lot with the details here. And what do we get? We get the Sand Ruby. So that is a key item. A Strength Ring. What do we got here? 70 cents in the pot. Would you move, please? Thank you. Alright, so what are we going to get go get over here? Poison, 1,000 gold, 110 gold. So, we're going to do a little bit of extra looting in the king's room here. Not always do you have to loot here, just some of them good place to do so. So that was a bit of um, gold there, but nothing worth getting. Well, so we're just going to head out. So I think the next stop is the Antlion Cave. Yeah, let's do Antlion Cave. But before we do that, I think we do stop in Kaipo, pick up our fourth Rydia, and then we go Antlion after that. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff in this town. Nothing there worth getting. The Blitz Whip doesn't really give you a whole much of an edge. Then again, you know, Rydia never has edge anyway. There we go. So that gives us the fourth Rydia. Wonder what color she will be. 
hopefully awesome colors for the win. We'd love to see some awesome colors, wouldn't you guys? I'm sure you guys would. Bandana and a fire. Not really too worried about those. Love to shove that woman out of the way. She's the most trolly of them all. So I always say to her, basically. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head out. But before we head out, let's say we do a little bit of looting over here in Mist. And look at that beautiful dragon whip. Very, very useful. Nothing there for you guys. Not even, don't even bother buying a leather ha helmet. It's worthless. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Hopefully no more 241s, man. <laughs> so we've been doing we've been doing all kinds of fun stuff here in the good old uh, kingdom of low rule. Nice. You had one last night? Oh, that sucked. I fell asleep. I would have stayed up for your entire stream, but I usually have to fall asleep and go to work the next day, so. <laughs> Alright, let us do this area. After two days of none? Oh, nice. It's too bad. Well, I guess whoever was actually hacking decided to let up on it a bit. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully we'll get some Wakamania going, huh? Definitely, definitely. Another game other than FF4 soon? Yeah, I'm I'm planning on doing um, Chrono Trigger Flames of Eternity. Cause we got 100 followers now, man. Got to do something. <laughs> got to do something different. In fact, I might even do it tonight. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. My sister was the hundredth follower too. It was so cool when she came, you know. She happened to be the the hundredth follower. So I was just like so stoked. It was awesome. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully she'll come back. She wants me to stream um, FF6. But I think she would like Chrono Trigger as well, because that was one of her games. Let's burninate these guys. Cat fight time. Rydia versus the Mega Sisters. Take this! Burnination time. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's what makes her good. If you get if you get the Burninator. You definitely got quite a bit of an edge. No pun intended. <laughs> Murasame. That's a bop bust.
Well, no, nah, I don't know if there's any backstory to the Maga Sisters. They're just uh, minions in the Tower of Zot, um, protecting protecting the Fiend of Air, uh, Valvalis. They're basically their servants of Golbez, who's like the main villain in this game. Other than that, I, there's not too much else that's known in the lore. Let's see, we got Kaipo, we got Hobbs. I think it's Baron time. So something like that. It's just that, you know, they've always had, like, you know, the Delta attack thing. That's always been, like, their special move. Have I beaten all the FFs? I've beaten... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Never played 11. Never played 12. Gave up on 13 because I got bored of it. And I had never played 14. And uh, 15 I've, I've beaten. Oh, no, I don't want to go back in there. I don't want to go in the end. So... 12 might be one that I'd, I'd do. Because 12 is a single player. I have be I have um, played and beaten 10-2 um, as well. Hey, that's very rude of you to do that, sir. Burn! Beat all the ones prior to 10? Oh yeah, definitely. It's a good goal. Seen a lot of people do that. Let's see, Cockatrice will nail them, I think. These guys are weak against stone. They're gonna get stone, dude. <laughs> yeah. Love using that. They're gonna get stoned. <laughs> So you got two, three, four, eight, and nine left. I'll tell you out of that list, three, four, and nine you'll, you'll probably like. Oh, nice! The Magma Key! And we get the fifth radio. Two and eight, you know, eight people I have mixed feelings on, but it's actually a really good story. I really enjoyed the story, though. And they had some good music, and... What was it? Two? Not so much. Not so much. NES version of two just did not put over with me very well. Nine... Nine kind of, you know, grew on me. It, it actually was kind of weird at first, but it actually did grow on me. I liked it after playing it for a while. You know, because it kind of, you know, went back to the whole retro Final Fantasy kind of kind of deal. If that made sense. Let's see, let's get all of you equipped. Oh yeah, it's... Let's just put it this way. You know, it's just grindy more than anything else. I wouldn't say troll more than just grindy. Because you don't actually have levels in that game at all. So there's no... No way to actually um, level up except by, you know, pure luck. And then by just, you know, doing certain actions and, and stuff like that. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's not a horrible game, but it's just not one of the best either. If that makes sense. There you go. You can take the Artemis bow. Arrows. See, 
Indeed. Let's get some sirens here. And some cabins. I don't know. I, I think some people would just not find it enjoyable. It's hard to know. My top three is would have to be 4, 7, and 10. Not in any particular order. Hey, how's it going, Bubbas? Yeah, so my top th three would, you know, four and uh, seven pretty much tie for first, and then ten is my number two. I would have to say. Because, you know, you, you gotta have the four times lightning dodge, man. You gotta have the four times lightning dodge for the win. <laughs> Yeah, four actually is really, really good. You know. Fire in the hole! Thoughts on five? Five was okay, I imagine. I mean, it, it actually is pretty decent. You, you, you have, like, job classes and stuff like that. There's way you can actually... You can use them. And plus, there's all kinds of really good replayability on it. I liked it. Because you can actually make the game easier or harder just depending on what you want to do. You can totally do a total randomized job classes. Was waiting for the notification. Oh, I don't know. I don't have a bot in my channel to notify when I go live. And I'm not sure if other channels and my other discords notify other than the one in the free enterprise discord and who doesn't love seven Bubba's, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, I'm not sure, it may not have, like, notifications turned on, like he was saying. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, though. It happens to the best of us. How weird. But if you're talking about my Discord, I didn't notify anybody in Discord, so if that's what you're waiting for. How odd. Let's get some more charm arrows. Fifteen actually isn't too bad. It's got some really good music. Why did I buy a paladin shield? Let's see, adamant, black, white. Black Sorcerer. Okay. So we don't need a wizard robe at all. We've already got good enough equipment. I don't know, man. That's weird. Could be you probably had to recache your web browser cache or something. Sometimes that happens. Like if you if you're on Twitch for a really really long time, it'll stop notifying you when people go live. So you have to like close out and recache your web browser. Oh, nice! Another adamant armor. Beautiful. Who do I want to put it on? 
clear on you, actually. That's an adamant armor! Beautiful. I mean, who knows? It could just be like your browser settings or your cache. Never know. I'm glad we found sirens, though. That really gives us an edge. That being said, there is no edge in the seed. We only got Rydia. Who knows? Maybe just Twitch being Twitch sometimes. But yeah, usually I'm here around 10 o'clock, so my time. I think we can stone these guys, right? Oh yeah. Oh, mobile notifications. Interesting. Very interesting, indeed. I get, I get a bit of delay before notifications sometimes, like, up to, like, a few minutes. It's really weird. It just happens that way sometimes. Cockatrice, there you go. I have iOS, so I'm not sure if I can help you with that. I mean, it may be, maybe just be, be something that might have been desynced somehow. Who knows? It's weird. Twitch being Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, you know how it goes sometimes. I'm not like in invisible mode, am I? I don't think I am. No, because you, you'd be able to tell if I'm online. Says, when it says like streaming and stuff like that, it shows it shows me in the it, on being online, right? It doesn't show me that I'm a, like invisible or something, right? Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes Twitch just can be Twitch that way, you know. Yeah, yeah. Who knows, man? If I, knew, if I had the answers, I'd, I'd let you know. Let's see. I think we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a gamble here. Is you can. Because I've heard that you can actually kill the Dwarf Castle boss at around level 30-ish here, just depending on your party. Yeah, just probably Twitch being Twitch. That's just the way it is. We shall see. We shall see. So say I, Tifa's Revenge of the Low Roll. We shall see. Oh boy, you. Well, we got Bahamut, so I'm not too worried about him. 
he can be a little weird. Yeah, Twitch just can be a bit weird sometimes. Especially if there's like peak network traffic or just some sort of um, bizarreness going on. Run buffer, there you go. Burn! Yep, let baggins be baggins. And Beggins be Beggins. Bygones be bygones, too. Of course. We have Burninatum! Trogdor style. We actually got some really cool colors, too. I like those. Yeah! The Burninator comes in the night! Oh. French Vanilla Calbrina is hella easy. Uh, sorry. That's the sixth color we've seen, though. That's kind of cool. Time for some more Vernonation! Come on, let us coordinate them to smithereens. Yeah! That's what we call Burnination Nation. Nation of Burnination. Alright, so, I wonder what kind of glove that is. When I was here last night during Dwarf Castle, it was kind of funny. I posted that clip. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> French vanilla actually is easier than vanilla Calbrina. Alright, what do we got? The package! Now I can burn an Ada village down. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. When I had all those roses there, and then we had punch out, and we get the pad! Very awesome. Still only have like three key items, so. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go take a look at the topic here of tower. I'm thinking, actually, no, not tower yet. Oh, this is Mega Man X. This is a really good Mega Man X cover here. Love it. Thinking about doing another catalyte? Oh, okay. Awesome. Thought about doing another Cataridia. Cataridia is pretty gnarly. Oh, nice! The Darkness Crystal. Storm Eagle! Oh yeah, definitely, you know, push your bounds a bit. Sometimes can uh, pay off immeasurably. You know. But you don't want to torture yourself too much. I mean, we can go to the moon now if we want to, but we're a little low level for it. I'm gonna go check the Fey March bosses first. Oh, 
Water Hag, hopefully. We got Trollbez there at Asura. Oh, we got the Gauntlet. Okay, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. Spark Mandrel. And then we got Sting Chameleon. Can I not, can you not press the sleep button? What happened, dude? You gonna be all right? Oh, there's Boomer Krangler. Do, 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 do. Oh. All the time while you type, you press the sleep button. I see. <laughs> I was a little confused there for a minute. My goodness. Maybe I should have put her in the back row. Uh, no, I thought I thought like, you know, plus press you're sort of giving me like a more of a literal interpretation like you were getting sleepy or something. That's what I was asking. So I thought, I thought you were like dozing off or like really, really exhausted or something. <laughs> My bad. Let's heal up Terra there. Yeah, so yeah, you know, when you press, when I think of like pressing the sleep button, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I get actually really tired. You know, like somebody actually gets like really, really tired. <laughs> it happens. Oh, the tablet button on the left side. Oh, I see. Actually, why did I do that? Oh my goodness. My goodness, it is JDP with the Reading Party of Five. Welcome to Low Roll, everybody, from JDP Stream. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. And welcome to the Reading Fest. More like the Slaughter Fest. In the fame arch here, <laughs> as we're fighting the Leviathan boss. So it's a lot of fun, and we get the spoon. Well, why a spoon? Why not a sword or an axe? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. <laughs> oh, how is Kaizo, man? Hopefully, Kaizo went went well for you. Hey, 
Hands are sore. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I think mine would be too after that. Oh, you got to test five. Wow, you got to the next castle. Nuts. I left right about when you were doing that double shell jump. Oh, actually, just right after that. Looks like you had actually made it. So that was pretty crazy. Should be able to solo this with one radio. With the adamant there and one moon veil. Good old troll beds. Yeah, Kaizo Mario is a hack that JDP was playing earlier. Uh, and it's really, really hard hack of Super Mario World. But he, he was actually playing Learn to Kaizo. And let's just put it this way it's tough. I whiffed that. That was kind of weird. I'm just gonna fire us. Guess he's full. Oh yeah, it's a ROM hack. Oh, nice. That was perfect timing. Like the Ridias all get up now, and we're just gonna virus them to death. Epic battle between the Ridias and Trollbez. That didn't hurt. Oh, yeah, very, very hard, ROM hack. Indeed. Yeah, that virus was pretty nasty. Fortunately, these two Ridias up here, they have adamant, so I'm not too worried about them. Unless one of those virus spells actually hits us pretty badly. So far, so good, though. Why? Yay, we killed Trollbez. What do we get from him tonight? A crystal ring. Okay, well, that can be useful. So, no buzzer on that one. Fortunately, we've been able to clear out the Fey March here. So let's go ahead and check those off. Yep. And it doesn't look like there's any other choice but to go back down and see if we can't do Mount Ordeals or something else. But first, let's grab some tiaras. Those are really nice to have. I probably should have bought them first, but I was not even aware that they were here, so... I didn't even, don't normally check armor shops before I do bosses. Although I should. <laughs> Especially if I don't have tiaras. There we go. Let's see, you got a, got that, so I'm gonna swap that out with you. There we go. You haven't beat Super Mario World yet? Oh, wh where have you been, man? What planet have you been on? <laughs> and 20 cents in those chests. 
What do we got down here? Ah, eh, protect ring. We'll take it. Oops, hold on. There we go. Awesome! So let us go and in, go into the cave here. Well, this is a very ominous theme. Saying, well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go do ordeals real quick. Drop a save here. Always hunt for more adamantine armors, right guys? And there's a moon veil. Beautiful. Yeah, Kaizo definitely is one of the hardest, if not the best, hacks. Because it actually pushes you to your limits. And you get really, really good at Super Mario World really, really fast. Eh, you know, I mean, it, it's not for everybody. It's a platformer. I can understand that. I mean, I suck at platformers, let's just put it that way. But if I ever decide to do Link to the Past, there's no way I'm going to be doing like record times on that at all. But I do want to try it at least once. With that being said, actually, I'm thinking of doing Flames of Eternity for my 100th special here. There's a lot of people from um, Final Fantasy IV have a lot of Chrono Trigger based names, so I'm just like, you know what? Let's play a hacky Chrono Trigger that nobody else has played for a while. Oh, nice! There's our D-Mist. You know, I wonder if the D-Mist actually has, like, the hook or something. It would be interesting to find out. Well, let's mark it on our list, because we have to... We're going to go check it out. So, at least we got double value up here on our deals. That's a good thing. Oh, you... you yeah... I can understand that, you know. It depends. Alright, let's do a change. There we go. And what item do we get up here on top of the mountain? White Spear. <laughs> Useless. That's unfortunate. But we're going to kill this boss anyway, because we can. And because I didn't save. Otherwise, I could have saved and reset out of there if I wanted to, but I'm just like, no way. We gotta have our messages here. So, all Kate Sith 2s have become paladins, wherever they are. And JDP, you have learned all your spells that you have forgotten, and Medio. There you go. <laughs> You'll probably forget them later, yeah. Well, at least in this, this universe you remember them.
<laughs> I mean, we all grew up on Mario, let's just face it, you know. Anybody who had a SNES or a NES, they had Mario. You know. The hardest challenge of Mario World was the, what you call it, the bonus level area. So actually, before we go here, let's go get the demist item. And I do have the package, so I'm not going to go the other way. <laughs> I did remember this time. <laughs> I did remember. The Legend Sword. So that puts us at six. Doesn't do anything for us, but at least it puts us at six. Casting Bahamut on me? What am I gonna do? Oh, I'm getting burninated! <laughs> Alright, let us go up to the moon. I think that's the best play right now. The only other play that I have is um, Sheila One. And uh, top of Babel. Which, mind you, they could actually hold something. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, you burdened me quite a bit there, buddy. I'm still feeling it on my right hand. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully we'll find some stuff up here. In Value Cave. It would be nice. Our bonds are what won us this battle. Oh, come on. Log in with Twitch. Unauthorized. Oh, give me a break. Hold on, my Nightbot crashed there. Authorize. Song request. Auto. There we go. Fixed. Can't have that happening. There we go. Speaking of the moon, there we go. Yep, I've got KQM on. Not only that, we're going to do a little bit of grinding here if we can. Why do grinding here? Um, just want to get a few more levels, that's all. Just because I can, mostly. I want to get, uh, what is it? Ice 3? I don't think we know Ice 3 just yet. Oh, why do I have KQM on? It's because I actually want to... I need to practice doing moon bosses. That's why. I want to practice doing moon bosses. And plus, it's a little bit more challenging up here. I think I've kind of, you know, outgrown my other flag set a bit. I turned the shop down to two. And I turned uh, moon bosses on. So that way, we actually have a little bit more to go.
KQMT? No, trap chests actually take a lot longer. Versus, like, bosses. You can, mind you, you can still level off trap chests and get good shit, but, you know. In order to get, like, potential key items. Oh, nice. Breath of Fire 3. Oh, you actually prefer that? It's, it's a good flag set for 2v2, especially. It just takes a bit long, that's all. Looks like we got a Leviathan here. Let's see if we can take him on. I may want to actually wait on this. We'll just see how this goes. I forget how much uh, magic he has. Probably not a, not a whole lot, but well, maybe he has quite a bit. We will see when he casts Ice Two on us. Okay, so it's not so bad. Oh yeah, I mean, trap chests can be fun all the time. You know, get you hunting for what? where the heck is that item and stuff like that, yeah. Definitely. I usually will run that like if I run Cataridia. So that's, that's, that's what makes it really, really challenging. Is to hunt everything. Burn! But yeah, I like... I, I just like just playing moon bosses. And um, summon bosses, of course. Because it kind of, you know... Keeps the, the playing field. The power shirt. We love the power shirt. It's so bad! <laughs> Alright, that was Bahama Cave. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely have trap chests on for co-op. That's a, it actually works well for co-ops. That way you, you can tell your partner which chests you don't want to actually get items in and stuff, and which you've checked, be like, don't even bother with that one. Or, or, oh, hey, this one has adamant armor and stuff like that. Oh, this one has a magma key. It actually makes 2v2 a lot funner. And what Rydia do we get up here? Place your bets. Is it the red Rydia? It is the red Rydia! Awesome. <laughs> I love the red Rydia. As much as I would love to take her, but we've already got our, our team here, so. Feels bad, man. I wanted to take that red Rydia. It's red-orange Rydia, to be fair. <laughs> it's supposed to be a phoenix. You know what? I'm going to do this spot first. Pale Dim. Oh gosh. Not you. Not you. Should be okay.
Oh, you always have the bang on as well? Ow! That hurt. Okay, so we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely not doing that. At least not without at least leveling a bit more. We're already healed anyway, so... What is this? Oh, it's the bomb ring. Kind of an interesting remix of the Bomb Ring song. You know what? I changed my mind. I want that red Rydia. <laughs> this is gonna get me killed, isn't it? I don't care. I want that Rydia. <laughs> it's too tempting. It's too tempting. I cannot resist. It is pointless to resist. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, yeah. Although with Rydia Percent having the bang flag on can be quite trolly. Okay, bang, you know. Well, here's what we're gonna do, actually. This is a, this is gonna be a little bit more useful than I suspect it might be. Here, let's turn the battle speed down to three. Okay, status. 29 agility, 35 agility. Oh wait, that's because you got the all the agility boosting items. Well, actually, let's just leave her the way she is. For now. And why am I going back out? Ugh. Not thinking straight. But yeah, I mean, it, it, for like all the other characters and stuff, you know, I could totally see that happening. Fifteen! Final Fantasy fifteen hype! But yeah, Kanazo is not happening. That doesn't necessarily mean that the other bosses will or won't happen. It just depends on what they are. Yeah, that we can do. That that's totally doable. I've done that, done that before myself. Totally. But let's go to Wyvern spot first. Because I don't mind trap chests. It's going to the moon early that can be a bit trolly. Alright. So let's see who we're going to fight over here. Ant lion. Oh boy. Now nah, I'm wishing I had that back row. Alright, 
right, let's just do summons. Or let's die. Because like she's gonna have to solo it. Which isn't a bad thing. I think what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna move that other ridi in the back row, because it looks like Adamant Armor can't tank in the front row against Moon Bosses. Oh yeah, it's it's lots of fun though to try um, early moon. really makes you think quite a bit like well what the heck can I do and stuff like that <laughs> that was a bust oh. so that was a bust that wyvern spot Yeah, definitely, it does. I mean, it's like... And if you have other characters besides just all Rydia's, it, se it would seem like it would be more feasible that then, but, you know, you never know. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's put you in the back row. Swap you with you. There you go. And what do you have besides that? You can't use the white robe anymore, so. Don't you have anything better than Rod, though? No, we don't. Rats. Alright, we'll just deal with it. Yeah, exactly. We got terminated by the Breath of Fire 3 termination song. I like this song. It's from Breath of Fire 3. So we're going to do the three bosses down here. What can we do with this boss, I wonder? Well, what'd you do with the Klondike boss? <laughs> oh, it's you! Talk about your early uh, end game. Uh, let's see. Dragon. Do we have Bacchus Wines? We don't, do we? Rats. Alright, just fight them. Call Trogdor if you can. Actually, no, that was a bad idea. Fire one? That's pretty weak, man. That's pretty weak. I thought you had a big, bigger uh, fire breath than that, man. Oh, we're gonna get mega nukes. It's okay, because we still have our videos here. Actually, it's probably very bad, but we'll try anyway. <laughs> We're gonna die. Ah, you missed. You missed again. You can't hit me. Take a burning nation, buddy. Ow. Come on! 
Summon! No! We're gonna die! Ugh. Dark Slash's channel, there's a Womp Womp command. I could actually do something like that in the future. So, that is not happening. We've already got Battle Speed 3 on, so... That is definitely not happening. Oh god. Oh, they're just bringing all the big guns, aren't they? They are just bringing out all the big guns tonight. <sighs> and we don't have Slip or Sura. We have no way of healing. Yeah, because he's going to blaze after every single one of our Bahamut summons, so... This is not good. Ow! Will we get the clench? Will we get the clench? No, we won't. Rats. Okay. So it looks like we are gonna have to do some leveling. Because that's like three bosses we were not able to kill so far up here, because we're just too low level. And, you know, that's expected to happen. You might find bosses up here that you can't kill. Because you're just not strong enough to do so. Can't create freeze file. Yeah, I don't understand why, but ever since like a few uh, days ago, that's been happening. on my emulator, it's saying that it's in a read-only read folder or something, where all the save games and shit is, so... My save states aren't working. But my SRAM, like my hard saves, they work just fine. So there's something in SNEX 9X that got messed up somehow, and I don't know how it happens. If I find out what it is, definitely I'll fix it. I just, it just started happening like a few days ago. I mean, I, if I knew why, I wouldn't. I, I have what I have to do. I'll have to do some testing offline to see what the hell's going on with my emulator. Seriously, it's starting to get me a bit riled up. <laughs> oh yeah, we got Xenogears in the house. House? My house! Yeah, look at that, we get some levels here. We got some Quake, we got some Lit 3. We got some rockin'. Of course, we had to be trolled by, like, three bosses up here that have adamant armor piercing. Oh, it finally turned on. It's 
Something happened, dude? What turned on, man? Who knows? Oh, your Windows device wouldn't turn on? Oh, I see. I wonder if it was something that was just asynchronous. Could be, could be something like that, yeah. I'm glad it did, though. I'm glad it's working. Trust me, <laughs> I've had to deal with all kinds of ID issues. Oh, nice, you were doing bingo earlier? What, were you doing, like, uh... JJ Blue and them. Command and Conquer. Bingo is fun. I'll have to do that at least once with Radio Percent. Bingo Radio Percent. Who knows when, though? I'll be here. I, I, I do have it. I mean, I am getting pretty comfortable now, at least, with the game and the moon bosses and stuff, so... Once, once I'm sort of over that hurdle, quote unquote, I think, I think we'll expand our horizons a bit more, huh? Maybe I might, I might uh, play with um, JJ Blue and Unknown Availability and all them. They seem to like it quite a lot. So I'm just like, maybe I should join join them. You don't even have life potions either. What the hell, game? What kind of troll ass moon shops do we have here? <laughs> wow. I mean, we've already killed two bosses and they've dropped nothing. So I have a feeling that one of these bosses down here is hiding something good, especially the boss guarding the two treasure chests at, uh, what you call it, the lunar spot. There we go, there's some more Xenogears. Finish talking to Hummingway. Complete cave mang. This visit four training rooms. Buy a stack of all ten of all items in an item shop. Loot a white spear. Have a party of full. Have a full party. Defeat twenty bosses. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Very, very cool stuff. You know, I've seen it. It looks really, really cool.
Level 50 character, deal 9999 damage with an attack, spin 1 million gold on a stack of items. Burn the ice on Mount Hobbs. That means you have to have Rydia. I think I like Bahamut better. Than doing the weak strategy, I like doing Bahamut strategy better. Drug door. I got two cats on my bed here, just chilling. They've been doing. They've been having a hard day today. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, by the way. All right. I think that's good for now. We'll see how this goes. Okay, let's save. Try this boss again. Hi, Wyvern. You want some burnination? Well, guess what? We got some right here for you, buddy. Edward Lamb's a killing blow. <laughs> oh, man. But if you have, like, no Edward, then you can't actually complete that spot. I imagine it does read, read your flags, though. It'll disallow certain tiles that are um, not in your flag set. There we go. We, we beat the big bad dragon with, with his own medicine. And what do we get up here? The pink tail! Too bad we don't have a hook. We didn't even get hurt at all by him. That was actually a really good fight. Let's try this one now. thing is, he does percentage-based damage, so this is not going to be nice, no matter how you slice it. We can only hope that we can do enough damage before he actually... before we actually need to heal or something. that's enough damage to kill him. Okay, good. I was a bit of a... I was a little bit worried there. Adamant and Earth Crystal. Okay. Too bad we're not playing V1. So that's two key items. Oh, those were yours. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. Huh. 
Hey, <laughs> Quint Zerk. I like that one, though. Love doing that with, um, Five Rosas. I like this song. This is the definitive Final Fantasy XV battle theme. Mind you, you know, it's not the same as all the rest of the retro ones that we all know and love. Like, be between 1 and 6, those were the classic retro Final Fantasy battle themes. And then 9 kind of picked up on it a little bit, too, I think. Did I mean to do camp? I'm not sure if I did. Burn! Yeah, because when you go to the moon, you commit to the moon. You don't look back. A ninja shirt. Game, it's just the game's way of saying, to hell with you, Tifa. <laughs> All right. That means exit out. That means we gotta go try and see if we can kill Kanazo. In that pale dim spot, he's not the nicest monster to kill. Or Bubba's if that was me, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Alright, here's what we're gonna do now. We are going to go exterminate this turtle. Because I feel like turtle soup tonight, man. Too bad we don't have a shredder. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Yeah, I saved outside. We got him though. He's he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to touch us at all. With nukes, definitely not. See? Cause we already do enough damage with our nukes. Red Rydia there doesn't have nukes. Now she does. <laughs> Moon was a bust. Well, maybe not a total bust, but enough of it. Actually, I'm not going to cast warp. Let's just use the exits.
Okay. Down we go! Yeah, no, we almost got 10 key items by going up to the moon. So now there's a few places we can go. Zot, Fable, or Sheila 1. Do Sheila 1 first. Sheila might actually have the goods. I see a lot of pro players would do it would do do what I just did with the moon and all that. They go up there because we only you only had two spots down here to check. And chances are like the tower key or whatever could also be up on the moon. Or even the pan. I wonder if Sheila does have the goods. We're about to find out. It's a Seymour theme. He's pretty sinister. All right, Sheila, please tell me you have something good. <laughs> Release the Kraken. Ah, ah, ah. Well, it looks to me. There we go. I just wanted to mess with my soundboard because I was a bit pissed. <laughs> Sheila had the goods. Well, at least now we can go kill Zero Mess. <laughs> Insane in the brain! <laughs> that is crazy. Ah, oh, Tifa. Always check Sheila before going to the moon. Ah. Oh, that's what I say to that. 25, 25, 41. 35, 41. Ugh, bad agility. If we do this, how much agility does she gain? 15. Okay, yeah, we don't want to do that anyway. Do this methodically here. Where is the crystal ring? Who has it? Let's see. Do you do we have it in inventory? Yeah, let's just do that then. That'll work. Alright. Let's go kill Zero Mess. <laughs> I didn't even need to go to the moon after all, yeah. But I did so. Oh, why did I give him the Earth Crystal? Yeah, I did. I saved like twice outside after I was moving equipment around and stuff.
whose butt are we gonna kick tonight? Definitely not alone. Definitely not alone. We are definitely not alone. It's got a really good uh, guitar cover here. However, there's one small problem. One small problem, guys. that's gonna help, but we'll get those anyway. No star bales. Oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> we need to go get star bales! Where are the star bales, I wonder? They're not in Baron. I don't know if I checked Egg Art or Mycidia. Yeah, we love the Power Shirt because it sucks. <laughs> Much rather have. Oh, yeah, this is where Sirens were. I would much rather have the heroin robe than the power shirt. Trust me on that. I'll bet you, I'll bet you anything Star Bales are here in my city, uh, or Silphara. No, yeah, what did, did I tell you? They're right there. So I never actually checked the shop. All right, let's go back to Zeromus and <laughs> let's go kick his sorry behind. Ah, uh, that was a big mistake on my part. But, you know, it's kind of expected that, you know, you'd go to the moon if there's more stuff on the moon available than there is on the Earth. So... You just have to go through a process of elimination. All in all, I'm not too disappointed. Except for me not checking the my city I shop. I could have gotten um, my level grinding out of the way much faster. Alright, let's try this again. You absolutely must have star veils if you want to survive. That being said, you can do it without you can do it without star veils. It's just a lot more trolly and you need a Sura to do it. So with in an OJ items run, you'll still you'll have a much higher chance of getting a Sura. So you'll have to actually use a Sura. Either that or Pier 3s. Alright, let's do this! Leroy 
Jenkins! He just went in there. Oh my god, let's go, let's go! I estimated a 32.333 repeating, of course, percent chance of survival. Alright, Terra Radio, you're the you're the bouncer for tonight's club. It happens, you know. We all get depressed, I'm sorry. I'm not sure who this guy's from. But I'm nuking him. I'm nuking him again, actually. Because that whiff. I, mean, I did buy silk webs, but I don't think we even need to use them at this rate because we got two adamant armors. Not even counting the one that we couldn't get because we don't have the hook. Got some good Castlevania music in the house. Does anybody know who this is from? I'd like to know who's, which game this sprite's from. Oh, you don't know? Anybody else? That would be awesome. We'll get him, though. I like the Wicked Child uh, remix. Well, at least I'll have the satisfaction of knowing that Zeromus will pretty much go down really, really fast. Or Daleness. He didn't even get a big bang off. Nice. We got him. We got him. <laughs> Thank you for the GG, Bubba's. Do, 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 do. Love this song. Hey, how's it going, Zeph? We're going to start a new seed in a bit. Well, I just killed Zeromus. We're going to get a new seed going, though. It turned out I didn't even need to go to the moon. Even though I did go up there, I killed, I cleared out all the bosses and ground to level 50 up there. <laughs> yeah, Sheila had the goods, the seed. She had, she had the crystal. And I had the pass already before I went to the moon. <laughs> the only thing is, um, I went up to the moon, I went out and cleared all the bosses, and I, I didn't even need to go up there. I could have just did, did all my grinding on, on the eggs. <laughs> that's a sub-90 in-game timer, that's not bad. Alright, let's get the new seed going here. 
Same fight set. I'm sorry, Bubbas. Oh yeah, Dwarf Castle had to pass, that's right. There we go. Alright, so Kate Sith, you get to be Cecil. JDP gets to be Tella because he raided me today and he's awesome. Hopsin gets to be Edward. Oh yeah, the Fusoya seed. I played that the other day. You get to be Bubba's Yang. Or you get, you get to be Yang Bubba's. I said that backwards, didn't I? <laughs> and Zeph, you get to be Edge. I think that's all we can name. Yep. Okay. There we go. Well, it looks like we're starting with the Elsa Ridia. Beautiful. Alright. Bring it on. You're gonna do an edge run. Oh, man. That sounds fun. Well, let me uh, reset the timer here. Reset the seed there. There we go. All right, here we go in three, two, one, go. Awesome sauce. So yeah, I had a few bosses up on the moon that were a bit trolly. Speaking of trolly, Trollvez at the beginning giving us the package. Is this even randomized? <laughs> Is this even randomized? <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever tried Vanilla Percent Free Enterprise. I bet you it would be pretty boring, but, you know. Edge Run's actually quite interesting. Find a whole bunch of, like, really good items, you throw them. I know there's probably like a different a list of stuff somebody had posted on the Discord not too long ago of how cost effective all the items are. Hey, would you do something? Thank you. What do we got here? Illusions are good. Let's sell this stuff here. We don't need it. Get 20 illusions, 20 hourglasses, um, and the rest of it we don't really care about too much. Probably a bunch of cheap swords, yeah, definitely. Drain spears are actually the most cost-effective weapon that I've heard. It's if you can find drain spears for sale, those definitely will be good. Either that or just dupe them. Ooh, I like this. This is a Quest for Glory 2. Quest for Glory 2 thief theme. Kind of fits. 
We are looting, after all. Moonveil and a charm rod. Sell the other good swords, yeah. So used to duplicating wedge weapons for edge. Oh yeah. I can see that. Eh, it might be good either way, you know. Yay, we get Shiva. So that's not too bad. Good mid-level summon. Great for early game. Mudero. Succubus. And a Soma Drop. Alright, let's regroup here real quick. See what we got. So, no armor at all, just weapons. Artemis arrow and archer bow, that's it. I don't think we can kill the boss. At least not yet. I kind of like that song, you know. It was really good. Dark Elf, ah, uh, no. Because we're going to get trounced by him. So I'm going to do the Twin Castle strat here. I might even go and burn the village down. Samurai. Nothing good here just yet. But yeah, I'm thinking at this early in the game, if we don't get like really good stuff, we're gonna wanna like get that third video. Oh, well, there's a Stardust Rod. That, that is a bit game-changing. But still, having three Rydias is always better than two. <laughs> this is a good Within the Giant remix. All right, what do we want to do now? Yeah, let's burn the village down. And it's the blue glove. Wait, is this yellow submarine? Where did those blue gloves come from? <laughs> From a bunch of blue meanies? <laughs> well, they do say that blue flames are harder, hotter than, like, red, so... Yeah. Blue meanies have destroyed Pepperland. Oh, it's a pink radio. We have burnt down that village and collapsed the mountain. So sad. Yeah, we got nailed. We got nailed by the Titan. He was bad, man. 
This is a lot of fun, though. Save, Tifa. <laughs> We gotta kill a boss here. At the very least, we gotta kill this boss. Believe me, there have been times when I've wiped in 2v2 when I've not been able to kill this boss because it was like some really trolly boss, like Trollbez or something, and I didn't have Star Veil. Good old low level Rydia. Oh, this could actually be very, very. Easy or very, very trolly. Fight, hop. Oh, son of a. Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. That is, that is frustrating. We don't have any, any defense, do we? How are we supposed to beat him? We don't have defense. Well, I mean, we could try setting the battle speed down. It's just the water hag, too. He's supposed to be, like, the easiest boss in the game to beat. Yeah, I'm in the back row. He just really hit hard there. Hopefully we'll be able to beat him, though. Okay, there's strike two. We just gotta get the third strike. No! Come on! There you go. Okay. Yeah. I just had to turn the battle speed down, because it just wasn't fast enough. That's what it was. Kind of lame how that happens sometimes. You have to turn the battle speed down. We got him, though. <laughs> I got trolled by the water hag. Wow. See, tents. That was kind of funny, though. I got killed by the water hag. <laughs> he must have just had a really high roll there, because, um, normally shouldn't hit for that hard, but he did. Like, wow, wait! 74 damage! Okay. Let us get back into our airship and continue onward. I'm thinking we, uh, go and do Fat Bull now. We do have Shiva, but we only have one person that can cast it, unfortunately. Alright. Well, let's give you the Charm Rod. 
you a Lilith Rod, and we have an extra Lilith Rod in case we need it for another, uh, video later on. Okay. You have nothing else for us, do you? No. Of course not. Because well, why would the game give me all kinds of good stuff here, huh? Edward has a higher HP here, yeah. Definitely. And he has hide as well. We have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Star veils are good. Drop a save out of here. Alright. Let's go loot a little bit here first. See if there's anything worth keeping. Asura. That does give us a heal, so we did not have heal last seed. As common as it is, too. King, do you have anything in your chest? No, you do not. So it's all crap loot. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go in here without saving. I mean, with that Stardust Rod, we're gonna be able to do damage. How much damage? Remains to be seen, but we're gonna be able to do some damage. Demist! Demist! Beautiful. Yeah, what's up? Um, we're getting our butts kicked. No, that was done. That seed's done. Yeah, I'm on a second one now. Okay, so that's not happening. So, I'm not too worried about the loot there. Just wanted to see what it was. Oh, you kept all their stuff to sell? Oh. There we go. That's some defense. Finally. Gaia shirt, but... Hey. I'm not gonna say no to rune rings. Rune rings are the best. You want rune rings. They are the freaking bomb in this game. <laughs> Iridia, especially. I never say no to a fight. Isn't that like from Wrath of Khan? Uh, no, I could never forget a face. That's what he said. Gaia is better than <laughs> leather. <laughs> We'll probably find, like, something better than that, but... I don't know why I bought it, but... I did it for the lulls. <laughs> yeah, let's get some Cure Ones while we're at it here, too. Because why would the game give me Cure Twos or Threes? This is a troll seed! <laughs> Why would it do that? <laughs> anyway, let's go to the one-stop shop for mages here. Hopefully we'll find something decent here. It's my dream to one day see H.C. Bailey do a Let's Play on this game. Just. Just a Let's Play. That's all I ask. He doesn't have to do a full run of it. Just a Let's Play. I would love to see how he reacts. Oh, we don't have any more gold, do we? Do I want to sell that? No, I don't, actually. That's a good item. I'm trying to buy these. 
hell of it. Let's just... Just, just one's enough for now. We can probably find Tiara somewhere else, so... So what are we gonna do now? Whatever shall we do now? I think we should, we should do Antlion. <laughs> that's the only place that seems logically available to us. Because let's just face it, the boss down here does not have a whole lot of HP. And we have that... Oh, look at that. Actually, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy so many of those, because there's our Tiara. That gives us the middle Rydia there a hell of a lot more mana power. We got Stardust Fraud. Oh man, she's gonna just wail. Now all she needs is a Sorcerer Rope or Adamant Armor. And there's a Ninja Helmet. Let's give that to you. Beautiful. Oh yeah, we got the package to start. Welcome back, Bubbas. Ah, wizard robe. And I bought like three Gaias because I had no defense. It was kind of funny. I got screwed by the water hag, Bubbas. In um, <laughs> where was it? Kaipo. <laughs> but fortunately, he got a low roll, and I was able to get a head off on him. It was kind of funny as hell. Because I was actually doing the package. Because I wanted to get that third Rydia. Wait, here's what we're going to do. I changed my mind. Let's give this to you. Let's give this to you. Give this to you. And that to you. And Charm Rod to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it seems a little weird, but there is a method to my madness. I wanted to give, like, all the really good stuff to that level 6 Rydia. That way she could actually pretty much trounce whatever boss is here. Nope, this was actually the package character. Game? Really? Really, game? Really, game? Ugh. Bonk. Bonk. I don't think we can do this. Really, game? Bonk with the life staff. Maybe. No. This isn't happening. That's why I save up there. In case you fight bosses like Valvolus. <laughs> so, we gotta take the walk of shame out, unfortunately. However, that, that also means that we can go up to, um, where was it? Who's boss here, by the way? Did we... Did we ever find out who boss was here? Yeah, it was Miss Dragon. And we could not kill... We could not kill her. But that was before I got all the good stuff in Antlion. 
Yeah, I'm just OCD about saving. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I was just sort of thinking, well, what do I do? Well, we try. I think we try this again. We're gonna try this again. The Shiva Shiva summon just seemed like it was like way taking way too long. You use that. Please do not attack. Okay. Well, you attacked her, but at least um, you didn't you didn't actually fatally wound her. Okay. Big bomb. Okay. Big bomb failed. You know what? Use that. Oh no, we got her. Nice. Awesome sauce. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, at least have a good time uh, t and take care of yourself, okay? And the magma key. All right, you have a good night, though. Let us go see what the rest of this stuff was. I knew what, the, knew what it was, but I wanted to go loot it again. Because there was an elixir over there, I knew that, and an Asura. Just stuff that I knew couldn't really help us at the time. And I want to see what's in here. Nothing worth it, but just a bunch, just a bunch of stuff we can sell. So, we me having um, money in this game. Trust me, is really, really nice to have. And we get a Sura. Nice. Okay, so who do we give the summon drop to? Because I can. Alright, so what are we going to do now? Well, we've done Fabul. We know Antlion Cave has Valvalis. And up here is Dark Elf. Dark Elf does not seem like it's too out of the range. So, let's go see if we can kill Dark Elf. Should be able to. I think we're lucky. I believe we also have some uh, hourglasses so we can stun the dark dragon. Oh, nice! Look at that! We got the awesome Rydia. Let's see. As a matter of fact, what am I gonna do with you? I don't know what to do with you, actually. Should be summoning actually, that's what I should do. Let's do a summon. Kinda of panicked there, I was like, what the heck do I do? Oh you son of a I mean, uh, that was a bad choice. That was my bad. However, we can stun him here, so... Probably shouldn't have summoned the Chocobo, but whatever. Should be able to kill him now. Too bad Shiva doesn't work while you're turned into a pig. <laughs> Yeah, it was Dark Elf, so. Fortunately, we do have ways of mitigating this. And we got some Star Ocean 2 in the house. And 
There we go. We get number four. That's awesome. Okay, here, let's do this. Do my warp trick here. It seems kind of silly, but this actually works. Believe it or not, that actually works. So we can't do Antlion. We got this village, we got Hobbs. The only thing that's left is kind of barren. Or deals. Bad controller. There we go. Fixed. Okay, so what do we do here? I forget who the boss was in here. We also have the magma key as well, too. So, we could do a siren hunt. I think that may not be too far out of scope, though. To do a siren hunt. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can fight this boss here first. Yeah. If the underground unlocks, it's not gonna be too hard. I love those Rydias. Look at how beautiful they look. The two new Rydias there. Oh man. They just look awesome. <clears throat> there we go. This is going to be Fable Gauntlet. Oh no. Well, let's not despair too, just yet. We do have hourglasses if we need to use them. In fact, let's just let them retreat. Or you can do a summon. <laughs> I love the Dracula theme here. Totally fits. Castlevania 1 Dracula theme. Love it. Okay, she didn't die. Good. <laughs> that would be bad. If she died, I'd be like, no. No. <laughs> uh, that, I'd be crying like Darth Vader like that. Stun him. Good. Stardust. Okay. Awesome. We got that Hourglass 1 off before they could react. Okay, so... I gotta kill him. Because otherwise he's just gonna be frozen there. In place. Yeah, so let's just do this. Try to ask again. It's probably the best thing to do. It's done. Start us. Illusion. Okay, right, we didn't need to use the illusion. Excellent. See, I can be taught. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh oh, that's bad. Actually, not so bad. We got we got the Stardust off, so that's what matters.
Alright. So that's Gauntlet Down. And that gives us the fifth Rudia. And what do we get? The Twin Heart. That is an awesome item to get. Yeah, I think I actually will loot more after this. What we shall do is go to the Dwarf Castle. Whoops, hold on. And loot there. Get the controller. There we go, fixed. It like was going up and it would not stop going up, you know? Not sure why it does that. But something wrong with the, the connector. Oh, by the way, it's time for fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Oh yeah, definitely. If we get more tiaras and a Bahamut, that would that would be really awesome. We already found Rune Ring somewhere. I forget where, though. Oh, this is Spark Mandrel theme. Really? <laughs> uh, there's nothing but an eagle eye there? Come on. Nothing here. Wanted to double check to see if there was anything here. I didn't think there was, but... I did not remember checking it, those shops, so... Still need to find sirens. Or this could be like one of them S2 seeds that doesn't have sirens. Won't that be fun? Not. Hopefully we'll find them though here. Uh Bacchus wine. Cure twos. We can get some cure twos. That's funny, I was trying to bonk him at Balbalos with, the, with that staff there. <laughs> can't believe I was just trying to do something like that. That's pretty crazy, huh, guys? Uh, do we have anything else we want here? Box wines. Yeah, we want some box wines. Hey, how's it going, man? How are you doing tonight? Welcome to Final Fantasy IV, Kingdom of Low Roll. Now you're watching the randomizer, and look at what we found! Tiaras. Those are Rydia's best helmet. Very, very nice to get. Maybe I shouldn't have sold that ring. Oh well. Do you have anything else that I want? Yeah, you do. Did I manage the arrow missile earlier? Nah, I just was like, we'll, we'll fight him later. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got a Stardust Rod. I want to make sure I put it on someone that can actually do heck of a lot of damage. There you go. Oh! Oh! Trondor! I think we can kill him now, though. Yeah! Look at that. We found the Trogdor. 
But what's more important is, what job is this dwarf here? A TV and news commentator. Or a radio and TV commentator. Aren't they lovely? We know a lot of people like to commentate on video games now, on Twitch. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the Fame Arch. And we are going to see if Sirens are up there. But yeah, that gives us a heck of a lot of momentum in this game. Because we have what? We have two summoners that can actually summon him at this point. And we have a few spots that we could easily clear out though. And look at that! Release the Kraken! Not release the Kraken. The Crystal! I thought it was the Leviathan. No, it was the Crystal. Yeah, right. Release the Kraken. <laughs> We still don't have any sirens, though. Yeah, you can turn on and off random encounters if you want to. I just leave them off because a lot of the times most of the EXP you'll get are, is from bosses. Unless you're grinding. In that case, then you turn it on and, and you can grind at during certain spots in the game. Oh boy. That's a nope. We don't want to kill Dark Knight Cecil and that other one there could be Mylon or Mylon Z. We don't know who it is. But Dark Knight Cecil at Leviathan spot is kind of scary. Yeah, so it actually, we have, like, all the items randomized, all the bosses randomized, and all the key item locations randomized. So you never know which bosses you're going to fight, like, in those two spots, you're supposed to fight Asura and Leviathan, but we fought, but if you look up there, it was Dark Knight Cecil, and, um, what's-his-face, Mylon. Or it could be my Z. So that's what's randomized. The shops are all randomized. Um, what else do we have that's randomized here? Quite a few other things, too. Let's go check Dwarf Castle. I haven't checked Dwarf Castle yet. wanted to heal up first before I did this. He's going up and down those nasty little um, spike tiles. Can be quite tedious. Did you do something for me? Thank you. You have anything? No, you don't. You don't have anything. It's Homer that has a really good armor. We're gonna have to find some better stuff up here. This is where I probably should have gone to begin with. And I wanted to go up there because at least now we know we're in half go mode. So basically, you gotta get the, the crystal. You mean an overlay but the background is too light? Hmm. There might be like some ways to adjust it, like transparency or opaqueness. That might actually do a few things for you. I had to do, a I had to tweak mine quite a bit to get where I was or where I am now, and it's still not 100% perfect.
not used to the new art program. I don't even use an art program. I just rip stuff. <laughs> so you got one on me. <laughs> or I help, uh, have other people actually help me a bit too, so. You definitely have one on me, on, though, with that. If you learn how to use that, you know, you'll be GG with that stuff. Alright, let's equip us a Protect Ring on you. Because we can. Let's see. Who do we want to give the Black Helmet to? And we got the DuckTales Moon theme in the house. Moon meets metal. Oh, it's freeware, but it's complicated. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of those programs take a little bit of time to learn, so I totally understand that. It took me a while to learn Streamlabs, and I'm still learning some of the ins and outs of it. So hopefully we'll be able to get some cool stuff up here on my ordeals. I think that's what we have to do now. We've got to find a way of getting these videos leveled now. I'm a little concerned that we don't have sirens available. At least not in the foreseeable future. That being said, I'm not 100% confident that I've checked all the shops. So... I may have to go and recheck all, all of the shops to see for, for absolute sure. Let's see. I'm gonna put you in the middle there. There we go. I don't know, maybe you can crop it somehow. If there's like a crop function, you might be able to do that. There we go. Good old Bahama. Yeah, sometimes that ha you have to do something like cropping it all and stuff. <laughs> Good one. And look at all those levels we got there. This is some really good metal. I'll just use the pen. I don't need to use a cabin. At least not yet. Yeah, that was some pretty good metal there. I like it. Good old moon theme. Oh, hi, Ant Lion. We can also go and kill that, um,. That good old air elemental after we're done here in the antline cave. Burn! Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I'm talking about. Burning ain't and frying the ants. Yeah, now they have some HPs. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, Zeph. Yes, they do. Thank God. <laughs> you play the game about four times now and never defeated Zero Miss? 
Would it not be wise to try Randomizer? Well, it really depends. I mean, Randomizer does have its perks, you know. And that's a Protect Ring, and looks like we got Kinazo here. I mean, you don't have to actually learn one to play the other and vice versa. Each randomizer has its own different... And there's more than one randomizer for this. Like, there's also another one called Lunarian Shuffle. Um, developer, his name's Crow, he's pretty cool, too. Oh, mid-game Kenazo can be a bit of a troll. And all Kate Sith 2s have become Paladins, wherever they are. All JDPs have recalled all spells they've forgotten again! And learn Medio, wherever they are! <laughs> well, he did, he did say he was going to forget his spells again, but you remembered him now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's definitely, um, sleeping, huh? Yeah, um, there's all kinds of guides on how to kill Zero Miss. Um, if you learn how to do, um, uh, Big Bang nerfing and agility anchoring, he's actually pretty easy in the Super Nest version and in the randomizer vanilla. Yeah, let me move my microphone there. There we go. But, you know, you have to kind of, you know, you have to kind of get used to how the mechanics work a bit. Punching solo? That's interesting. I know they've done, like, you know, all kinds of very interesting skips and tricks and stuff like that. I I never knew they actually were using um, Kane punching Zeruma solo. That sounds interesting to watch, actually. Goodbye, Valve. What do you got for us? The Rat Tail. So with the rat tail, if we ever get a hook, that'll give us an item. May or may not be a key item. It's a bug where Zermus gets damaged. Gets amped to like 5k a hit. It must be like an underflow or something then. I imagine that's probably what they were trying to do. Did we do Town of Baron? Yeah, we did do Town of Baron. That was the Febble Gauntlet. I said we do Miss Cave. Or not Miss Cave, uh. Magnus Cave. Music time! Yeah, it's definitely music time. Hopefully, it's not a boss that's too trolly here. We shall see. We shall definitely see. That's actually pretty cool, though. I'd have to take a look at it and see what they do. If they explain it and stuff. Because I never actually have tried that out on vanilla myself. I wonder if it actually applies to randomizer as well.
50 cents there. So what do we got tonight here? Well, nothing yet. I would like to get us an adamant armor or something here. Oh, this is from MechWarrior 2. This is the, called Freedom Fight from MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. It's a very good song that I used to grow up with when I was a kid. We would play this game all the time beat each other up in mechs and stuff. It was all kinds of fun. Alright, let's just uh, let him uh, do his thing. My goodness. That's a lot of damage. Alright, so I'm going to pause the music in just a bit here. So that way we can hear the awesome randomized music from the Twin Harp. There we go. Name that tune. I know what it is. Anybody else? Going once, going twice, yep, Final Fantasy 1, close, it's the cave, the marsh cave, you were close, pretty cool, huh? Oh, hi, Asura. It's been a while since I played FF1 as well. They actually have a really decent randomizer for FF1. That's kind of funny. She used Cure 3 on herself and it only cured for one damage! <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing here! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. A ribbon. So, that was a bust. I mean, at least we can use a ribbon, but whole cave Magnus cave was a bust. Oh, you know what? We need to do a uh, mist dragon. We didn't get the D-Mist item, did we? I don't remember us getting the D-Mist item. We killed the D-Mist. I just didn't mark it. We got the Pabul. Oh, nice! The Darkness Crystal! That's good, Moon! Uh, the ribbons are okay. Um... I like TRs better. 
because they give you more damage, you know? Let's see, actually, my eeny meeny money mo, let's do that. Anything better. Okay, well, I know where to go to get better armor, at least. We can go down to Talmra. But yeah, now we can go up to the moon and just completely beat the game. But first, I want to go get some better armor here in Tomra. Yeah, if we if we only tiaras. They're a bit better just because they have um, plus 10 to wisdom. And plus, I'm going to get these black shirts so that way we have much better defense than what we had here. Oh my god. We were getting trolled. I wish they would get better offense as well, but. Gotta go with what you got. Time. The way the ball bounces. The way the randomizer ball bounces. Let's sell the rest of the stuff that we don't need. I really like that uh, Dr. Wily remix. That is awesome. Good old Mega Man 2. Alright. So now, there's a few things that we can try and do. We go up to the moon. We could do some um, manual grinding to get better leveling. Or, we could hope for Siren somewhere. Sirens could still technically be on the moon, so. So that was actually a pretty fast go mode there. It's just that we need to get to level 50 to, in order to defeat Zero Miss. That's all we have left to do is just grinding. And we have enough hourglasses to grind. See, so we got. 15 hourglasses there in case you run into King Ryu, King Ryu. Oh, this one. This is like one of the boss themes from Final Fantasy Tactics. Pretty ominous. Alright, Hummingway, do you have sirens? Please tell me you do. If you don't, then I'm gonna have to manually grind. I'm gonna have to manually grind. Rat bastards. <laughs> Not gonna give it... Of course. Why would they have sirens? It's a troll game! It's a randomizer! Why would they? <laughs> they don't want to make this easy on me, do they? <laughs> Well, on the plus side, we get to see which Rydia is here. Although, I've already got my red Rydia. I'm happy. In 
It's actually a red-orange video. We don't even need to do a dwarf castle at all. Ah, uh, we already got a pink one. Alright, so let us go down. Oh, there's a few things we can do. We can do trap chests, or we can do um, random encounters. Let's do, do a trap chest. Because why not? We love to get killed. Of course. We're not going to have enough agility. And these guys can't be stunned, if I remember correct. That hurt. Okay. I kind of saw that coming. I have to go back down. I didn't save. It's okay, though. We don't have to kill that boss again. We did not um, get too far behind. Let me just double check something here. While I'm down here, at least, let's just double check something here. Let's get some lives. I'm gonna save that moon veil for later. I don't remember buying those lives. Okay, silk webs. Do we do we have those? We do not, actually. Let's buy those. Okay, so... It turned out I actually did not check the shops here. So that sort of... Is my clue to, well, hey. Go check the sh freaking shops, Tifa. Maybe Silvera has something that I missed. No, we've already been here. Yeah, there's nothing here. We've already been here. We've already checked my city of shop. So I'll double check it to be again to be double sure. We gotta watch this scene again, don't we? Yep. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, I have to go turn in the... What's it? For the, the big whale, don't I? I have to go get the demist item. The demist item had darkness crystal. You have coffins, so we'll get some of those. I remember that that you had the coffins. Okay, we're not in we're not in dire straits at least. Okay, so yeah, let's go turn in this again because I forgot to do that. There's our darkness crystal. Okay. So I was a little bit further behind than I thought, but it's not a big deal. At least I know what I was doing. We do have elven bows here, so do I want to get those is the question. 
And the answer... No. We don't need him. At least not yet. Okay. Is there anything here worth looting? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to be sure. Alright, let's go back up to the moon. Yeah, no sirens is bad news bears, unfortunately for us. And we gotta find a way of, of leveling up on the moon somehow. So that's the problem with like early go mode. You have to find a way to level up early somehow without dying. Okay, back up we go. Where is that hair hair dryer trap chest? that we can try. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. But we can try that. Because we're only like level 18 and stuff. I've done, I've actually done some sorts of grinding up here before at this low level and it's not the easiest thing to do. Forgot to go buy our stuff down. Oh man. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Alright, let's try this. Should be able to stun them if I can actually survive. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> that was that was a bit of a troll there. We're gonna be okay though. Revive. Take a deep breath. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna... Oh, actually, you know what? You can't do that. Never mind. Let's just do this, then. Burninate him. There we go. That gives us some more levels. There we go. Awesome sauce. Gotta love the other world theme. Might help if I heal a bit too. <laughs> yeah, it just might help if I heal a bit, huh, guys? Okay, let's do this. Okay, 
<laughs> oh yeah, this is um, the bo boss music and the very beginning too. We're here fighting Jack. Braska's finally on. Definitely one of the most badass themes in music. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I definitely love this track. Loves FF10. Oh, yeah, definitely. Final Fantasy X2 is not possible with one hand, huh? I wonder what's possible with one hand in that game. People actually make like weird challenges like that. They're fun, but you know, huh. it could be a bit interesting more than anything else. Oh, it's a behemoth. He's not too bad. Let's use a few illusions here. Now, for some reason, I thought he would encounter with Maelstrom. I don't think he does. I think all of the behemoths on the bottom floors do. But I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, why did I use that? I meant to use that. The behemoths we can actually grind on. They're not too hard. Isn't this fun? You actually get to do some grinding on the moon. Edward style, kind of. Edward percent style. Hey, how's it going, man? Hopefully you're doing good tonight. And thank you for the follow. Welcome to Low Roll. Hopefully you have a good time here. We're having a good time here, I think. <laughs> or should I? That's that's more of a relative term, though. Because <laughs> I do not have any. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> you can do that to me, game. Oh good, we can actually stun these guys. I didn't think you could. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh, Wanderers from Y or Yee's Three. I like this one. It's the Lava Zone theme. Lava Pit. This is this is one of the games that I grew up with as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, do a quick save, and then we can farm some more trap chests up here.
3DS port, thought it was way easier, huh? Oh, okay. And here we go, we got some Dr. Wily in the house. Mega Man 2. It's a remix, of course. It's actually quite appropriate for this area, considering it's the last area in the game. <laughs> There we go, there's another monster chest. A red and a blue dragon, oh boy. Don't know how much of a chance we'll have up here against them, but we'll sure as heck do our best. What's our goal? To do our best! No, our goal is victory! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> these guys, oh man, yeah, they cast Blizzard and they are not nice, fight. You know, I mean, some games, different ports and stuff like that. You know, we can always, we always like our own. There we go. We got another one off. Come on. Let that be the killing blow. Yeah. We got him. And we don't even have, um, 10 key items, so... Yeah, this, you can see this could be pretty rough up here. I mean, it's not going to be too bad. We can we can do uh, Edward percent style grinding up here because we can turn random encounters on. Plus, I mean, with the behemoths and stuff like that, the behemoths they only counter whenever you attack. So that's why I was going after the, the, the trap chests. So sometimes you'll be able to fight behemoths there, and they're not that bad. Counter's on. So now I'm just going to wander back and forth, fight some monsters, and hope for the best. Okay, so... These are the kind of monsters you do want to hope for, because you can kill them. And they're relatively safe, because you can actually stun them. Now we got us some uh, Breath of Fire 2. Boss battle theme. Yeah, we're getting some more levels here at least. That's good. We might actually go after a few bosses here. If not for the EXP for the key items. We'll see how, how it turns out. We also got to keep in mind we have limited resources. So that's what that that may play a factor into our grind. But if there's some bosses up here that are free, that could net us some easy EXP. We'll see what we find. Oh, hi, Wyvern! Haha! <laughs> You miss with the hold. But 
There is a reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Because he's going to counter with Mega Nuke, and it's just going to go straight back into his face with a few of those Star Veils. And yes, we will lose Aridia or two. But we'll see what happens. Ow! But only the strongest Ridias will survive. Oh, this is a really good theme, too. Clock. Haha, <laughs> you missed! Got him. The Luka Key. Oh yeah, this is it's one of the best teams that I like playing. I always jam to it all the time. Oh, it's Dr. Luwagi and his wonderful creation. Hopefully he doesn't dodge my summons. If he does, then we... It's pretty much a no-go. We shall see, though. Oh, nice! You make some songs on Game Boy? That's pretty badass. Oh, that is some excellent trombone work. Ow. That is so cool, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. We should be able to handle the second form here. Second form is not too dangerous. If we did not have Bahamut, this would not be possible. Do, 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 do. Yeah. That is so awesome. You guys work with that. <laughs> I'm a firing my laser. Yeah, if we did not have Bahamut, this would not be possible. I'll tell you that right now. And look at that, we got some levels there. Beautiful. So, what I'm trying for is I'm trying for the 10 key items here. Mazamoon. No. And we get the pass! Get rid of the mute arrows. So, that's a free pass back to Zeromus. But that still didn't give us any key items. Now, you guys don't have to suffer those uh, nasty poison effects there because I actually have the effects turned off but we got to get to level 50 somehow and I more really want to get the the 10 key items if we can Oh, 
All right, Castlevania one. Yeah. That is so cool. You get getting into game dev is always awesome. Unless you work for Blizzard, then you know they treat their employees subpar. Not that being said, I mean you know I've heard some people say some good things about them. Not all bad, but some of the games they are choosing recently, not so much. It's all good though. <laughs> this is a free fight. It'd be cool if you start like your own uh, company and stuff. Do like indie develop development of games. I would totally go for that. Speaking of indie development, I've heard there's going to be a new Zelda game coming out. That's what's on the buzz right now by an indie developer. So I thought, oh my goodness, that's a, that's gonna be awesome. As if as if they finally, you know, decided to turn their head and, and let people do that. The Legend Sword. So who knows? I mean, they already they kind of pushed it early on when they kind of. Um, when there was this really cool uh, Metroid 2 remake that came out a while ago. And, yeah. They were not too happy about it. And the thing is, the, thing is, the game was awesome, though. And I think that's why they weren't too happy about their their intellectual property being used and stuff. But now they're, they're finally opening it up. I'm just like... Now you finally got got your head stuck out of your ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After Diablo 2, yeah, me too. I kind of, you know, I retired from it. Not never looking back. Once I got level 99 on my Sorceress, I'm like, you know what? Time to retire. <laughs> oh yeah, Llama, dude. He's got hella people in his channel. Hella people. <laughs> I see. I problem is, it's hard to watch channels that have like so much chat going, flooding and stuff. That being said, you know, I mean, I like to interact with whoever I'm with, but that's just me, though. You know, some other people just like to lurk and watch. I mean, there's no problem. I have no problem with him at all. I mean, I got um, 2004. You know, that was my moment when I got the number 199 sorceress. It was not easy to do. I will tell you that right now. It was. It was a lot of work. Yeah, it was Ladder Season 2 back in 2004 on the Diablo 2 US West Realm. So it was it was a while ago. Not many people remember me. If anybody at all. Hi, D Lunars. Yeah, yeah, right. I was actually meaning to do this. 
Well, it looks to me like it's frog stomping time. Frog stomping time. Yeah. Yeah, we like frog stomping time. <laughs> yeah, definitely, thanks. No, I mean, they had this uh, tournament called Wind Worlds Collide. That was a pre-WoW launch during Ladder Season 2. And first person on each realm to hit level 99 was given a prize pack. And it was not easy to do. It took me about a month and a half. You know, and it was just one of those things where I was just like, you know, only getting four hours of sleep each day. It was an endurance grind fest. Yeah, before all the bots took over, definitely. That's what made me quit. And we got the pink tail! So that's 9 out of 17. Yeah, because the bots kind of ruined it for me in 2005. I even actually wrote a whole fact on it and, and did some, what you call it, white hat botting because I wanted to prove that it was possible or not to do something like that. And while I did while I did show that it was possible, the bot always would die and stuff, and you'd lose EXP for not getting your body back at level 98, and that would cause, cause you to lose days of progress, and it just was not something that you could humanly do. Whereas a human could probably react much faster than a bot in some respects like that, you know. So, I wrote a whole paper on it on GameFAQs called the High Level Lo Level Grind, or the High Level Guide, back in, um, I think, 2006 or 7. It's still up there. I, I actually almost took it down because people started downvoting it a whole lot. And I'm just like, you people need to go get alive and stuff. It, yes, it's all, yes, it's for version 1.1 or 1.12 or whatever. Yes, stuff's been updated. So go chill. <laughs> so, I was just like, I was getting trolled by everybody on GameFAQs. Hella troll, man. Hella trolls over there. See, yeah, I probably should have just used the exit. But I felt like walking for some reason. Oh, man. It was crazy. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> All right, let's kill Pale Dim. Or whatever is in Pale Dim's spot. Oh, Calcobrina. Oh, we almost have a 1337 Rydia there. Look at that. <laughs> yep, yeah, the dolls. Yeah, dolls are nothing on this level. And the Earth Crystal! That gives us 10 key items. Beautiful. Even though it's not the key item we wanted, but it is a key item.
So that'll make our grind a hell of a lot faster now. So, sometimes you just gotta do that. So, like, hold on, let's do this. Exit. I forget, do I have a Dragon Whip? Did I ever find a Dragon Whip or Artemis Arrows? Let's see here. I do have Artemis Arrows. I do have a bow form, though. Ah, uh, good old Airman theme. Love it. Actually, why aren't you wearing a Protect Ring? In fact... In fact, I need to go back down to Earth and go get the other stuff that I needed to go get down in earlier. Because I was getting my butt kicked. Bubble Man. This is a good remix. Has like all the themes of all the robots and Dr. Wily. All the Mega Man 2 robots. Metal Man! So what do we got here? Alright, let's sell some crap. Save the ninja. There is a reason I'm saving those. Woodman. Yeah, actually, I want to give you the black shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you got a tiara, you got a tiara, black, you need a black shirt. There we go, Dr. Wily theme again. I don't know why, but the Dr. Wily theme is just one of my favorites. I like so many different remixes of it, it's insane. There we go. Can kill one of the ninjas. You got that, got that, got that, got that. Wait, you got a glass, didn't you? Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. It's called the Rockman Wily No Fight or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Japanese version. Definitely. Rockman was the original name for Mega Man in the United States. Exactly. Some sometimes they've been spelling W I L Y and sometimes W I L E Y. So <laughs> that's a good question. Because I've seen I've seen some uh, old school Mega Man games spelled either way. Oh, we got Valkyrie Profile here. The unfinished battle with God. Yeah, 
That's a good team. RPG Valkyries are some of the best people that I've known. Game Grumps playthrough? Oh, those guys. I've heard of them. Yeah, I'm using the web overlay for it. I know people have been... There's a way to, to use a different kind of overlay, but if I... Tr a lot of the times, I'll get black screens if that happens. Yeah, Game Rumps is a freaking bomb. I, I'll have to mess around with it a bit when I have some time. I have to actually really look at Twitch 101 and stuff because <laughs> sometimes, you know, I would just love to get some of the overlays transparent like how other people have done them. I, I, I really don't know how people do that. So, I mean, I've only been on here for like two months, two and a half months. Yeah, I level pretty quick. We're at level 42, because like the bosses on the moon here, they do give you a little bit of grinding EXP. But we still got to do a few, bit, a few things more. Hey, thank you very much, Ginger Spicer Die, for the follow, and welcome to Low Roll. Hope you have a good time here. Let's run away. Oh, those guys aren't worth much. These are the guys you want to fight. Let's see, Hourglass. We've got some really good, uh, got some interesting, um, people with different, um, screen names here. Girl Power, yeah, I, I do the Girl Power run, by the way. That's, uh, you, uh, Rydia, Porum, and Rosa. So that is actually a, that is actually a run that I do. Oh, awesome! Thanks. I I appreciate it. There's probably just some silly little thing that I need to figure out with how to get transparency working. Yeah, usually I do Zerka Rosa and I have Rydia do uh, magic. And what else do I do? Oh, this is also from Final Fantasy X, by the way. The Cloister of Trials. Hey, that is very rude of you to do that. Hitting my Rydia's in the front. How dare you do that. Trogdor! Yeah. Burnination time. You like some Burnination? Yeah. Especially with that red Rydia burnin' in your face, buddy. <laughs> ah. You think Fasoya's genderless because they're a Lunarian? Oh no, yeah, you're probably right because they call him a mop, you know. Now, if you guys ever want to know what the current song is, you could just do this. Exclamation mark, current song. And that tells you exactly um, what the current songs are. It's 
call it between ordeals, but yeah, it's the closer of trials music that's played during that area. Ooh, we don't have very much hourglassing left. Alright, so I want to play this a little bit wisely. What I'm going to have to do, actually, I'm going to have to quake, deal less damage, and then ice three on him. How much damage does quake do? Not enough. Okay, good. I didn't want it to do enough. Two ice three should do it. Exactly one ice three did it. Okay, I got that in time. And that life glitch gives us a heck of a lot more EXP, as you guys just saw there. This will boost us much faster. So, the no siren runs aren't that hard, you just have to know where to level here. And we're doing this Edward Percent style. Instead of Edward, we're Rivia's, though. Awesome sausages. Okay, so... I think what I'm gonna do with this is use, use a few Ice Threes this time. They also are weak against weak, the arrow attack. So you can also use that if you want to. Oh yeah, these, these flags are not the easiest flags in the world to play, so... And this is from Warcraft 2, by the way. Fatal and Nuke. Look at that. Nuke. 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 Weak. Okay, we got one more grind to do. See, first, before we do that, save. See, we'll, we'll do one more cabin, and then we'll save. <laughs> S2, by the way. The shot flag was S2. So if you guys want to see what flags I do from the future now, you just do exclamation mark flags. And there you go. We could use a week on him. I'm not going to even bother using my hourglass. Just got to do some old school uh, lunar grinding here. You can't life glitch uh, any just uh, one monster. Yeah. Run from him. <laughs> oh yeah, she can't cast life. Nope, not at all. And we would not have been able to get the hourglass ones if we didn't have a S2 on. If we had like, if we were doing Cataridia, that would be different. Cataridia is insane. Not to say that it's not doable, it's just insane. Yeah, cabin only. Uh, 
I don't even think that's even possible, or if it is possible, it's just not something I would want to do. It just would not be fun. It would just be like hella, like, masochist, Ron. I mean, yes, I do like to torture myself by running all videos. Yes, I do like to, to turn on moon bosses and trap chest flags and stuff like that, but I'm not insane. Like Simbu. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a one in three chance if you ever have to do that. That is. Okay, so now we're pretty much at zero miss level. So let's take a look at our stats here. 26, 26, 25, 25. 26. So we're going to give you the ninja helmet. So that way you can get to be 28. And that should do it. Oh, oops. Forgot to turn off encounters. Hahaha. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can use life staffs um, with uh, young Rydia, but as soon as you grow up, you'd have to make sure that you keep that on as long as you want to use it. Because once you unequip it, it's no longer re-equipable. Not to mention it only gives you will and not wisdom. What's an ideal average level at uh, vanilla? Yeah, usually you'd be somewhere around the 60s. 50s, 60s, give or take. That's, that's what I remember being when I killed Zeromus the first time in vanilla. Oh, nice. Legend of the Dragoon. Dark Steam. He might shake twice, but that's normal. He's not actually going to be that fast. He's just saying hi. He's just got a case of the shakes. Looks like the top radio there. The, the purple one is going to be the bouncer for the club tonight. Who's better we kicking tonight? It's the missing number! Wow. We're getting killed by a glitch, of all things. Oh, nice. We got his bounce. This isn't even a, no a normal Pokemon. <laughs> it's a glitch Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, I imagine you could. The life rod? Assuming you find one, though. Perfect in game boss music. Rock guitar. Love it. I 
And we got Xenogears. Crap theme. Yeah, I know. Hopefully she doesn't die. Because if she does, then you're screwed. <laughs> I consider Cataridia to be S1, not SC. You gotta have, you gotta have items. At least the very basic items. Oh, nice! That's that's game. So just under two hours there. Oh, <laughs> thank you, man, for the GG. Snoggy box. That was just one big bang. Thank you, Zeph, for the GG. That was just one big bang. So S1 and no J items, that is what I would consider Cataridia. I actually have my own custom flag set. Because if you think about it like, you know, normal Cata, you have other characters available that have like a better chance of surviving. <laughs> Whereas Cataridia you gotta have at least some chance of surviving <laughs> with with uh, the very best basic items. That's all you get, though. You don't get anything else besides the very basic items. All right, so that was awesome. We killed Zeramus in less than two hours. My last run went a little bit faster. This run was okay, I think. It would have been a little bit faster if we had sirens, but... Um, yeah, considering that we did not have sirens, this is fairly decent. Well, look at that. One hour, 37 minutes. We lost a lot of time when I made that one boo-boo by coming up to the moon without saving and going into that trap chest with those red dragons. That was my biggest mistake. I think. But other than that, I think we did pretty well considering you know, that I was able to kill all those lunar bosses and stuff at, with um, suboptimal equipment. So, with that being said, we're just almost about out of time here, so bear with me just a moment here while we find somebody to raid tonight. We can, um, do you guys have anybody, um, you'd like me to raid? Maybe somebody new? Because we could definitely do that. I could raid Andy if he's still on. <laughs> For Bobus Lee, let's see if he's still if he's still on or not. Uh, he's he's in BRB mode. He's playing Pokemon Red and, and Blue. So, <laughs> what a perfect what a perfect uh, raid point actually. <laughs> he's he's one of my great good friends. He raided me last time when I was just about uh, ready to leave, though, so. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves tonight in Low Roll. Um, don't forget, every time, every night, 10 to 2, um, 7 days a week. So, that being said, I will see you guys next time, and have a great evening. Take care now.